out. There goes my black lash glue. Freaking black glue everywhere. So this is real life. Um, I'm sick. I sat down to edit the other day and my intro and outro did not film. I don't know what happened and how I missed it, but I'm just, I can't, I can't get out my lights and my camera and the microphone and the whole thing. So yeah, the video just kind of cut off at the end of the tutorial. So I'm at least glad that I got the, the whole tutorial in and the video is definitely worth watching. And I hope you can get past this intro if you want to even call it that. I will be sure to include timestamps. This is going to be a fun holiday inspired look and review of the Buckle Your Sweet as Honey palette. I absolutely loved it. The price is insane. And I know you guys really, really enjoyed the look. I think this was probably to date my most requested like tutorial. So if you didn't see it on my Instagram, it was this look right here. I'll insert it somewhere. I'm filming right now on my iPhone, so I'm not really used to this, but that's going to be the look and I'm so glad that you liked it. I do hope that you enjoy this video. As always, if you do, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and be sure to turn on all notifications with that notification bell. I do have another week left of my giveaway, so go ahead and check out that video. Get yourselves entered to win and thank you so much for being here. So let's get on with it. All right guys, so I debated whether or not I should call this like an Amazon video because I did find the brand through my Amazon series, but this particular palette wasn't on Amazon. I actually saw another YouTuber named Cindy Lou Bindi who is super cute, she's from Australia, and she reviewed this palette and it is the Buckle Your Sweet as Honey palette. Basically, the unicarton and the palette are the same. This is what the palette looks like inside. There is a mirror. I never take these things off. <laughs> okay. It's not worth the struggle. But here she is close up. You're getting 18 shades in here. They're a combination of mattes and shimmers and foiled glitters. I was floored by how many people requested a tutorial on this look from Instagram. So I'm really excited to do it for you. I had already planned on coming on here and reviewing this palette and this brand. Like I said, I was unable to find it on Amazon. So I actually was just price shopping for it. And it turns out Faco Your has a store on AliExpress. And I know AliExpress, some people are like, like really nervous about it, but Focal Your seems to be like a pretty legit brand. Here's their Instagram. They've got 32,000 followers. They're always posting. They are vegan and cruelty free. And their whole deal is that beauty is not a luxury. So I just went onto their website and it looks like they are actually featuring this palette right now. Along with, I guess they have some eyeliner pen, which I, I can't speak to. I haven't ever tried it. And it looks like they're selling the eyeliner plus the palette for $12.99. This is made in the PRC, but it's not like a counterfeit brand. It's not like they're copying other makeup. They're making their own palettes. I'm not really super familiar with AliExpress. This is the first time that I have purchased anything from them. If you go into the Focal Your official store, it's retailing for $8. Mine did take about four weeks to arrive. Now you can find this palette on Amazon, but it is much more expensive. I'm seeing a $25 seller, 46, 69, 67, like ridiculous. So I will go ahead and do swatches first, like I have been doing with my palette reviews slash tutorials, whatever you want to call this style of video. And then after I do the swatches, I will start the tutorial. I'll be sure to include the timestamps down in the description box below, along with the information of the products that I'm mentioning. Along with the palette, I did purchase a couple of other things. When I was watching Cindy's tutorial, she had mentioned this glitter and 
Glow Liquid Shadow. I'm hoping this will pick up, but this is what I used on top of the look and I'll use it today. And this is in the shade Diamond. And I'm just gonna swatch it real fast because damn, like, oh, I'm not really sure if it's going to pick up and get close. It's definitely duochromatic. It's purple to green shifts with glitter in it. It's really stunning, really, really stunning in person. And then along with that shade, I did pick up another one and this is in the shade Firework. It kind of reminds me of the MAC blue-brown pigment as far as the color. It's got like a brownish red base with almost like blue reflectiveness in it, like a blue glitter. And that's really pretty as well. Both Firework and Diamond are $3.36. I mean, holy cow. And that is on AliExpress. Finally, the last thing that I bought was a pigment, and this is in Rose Gold. It has like a really interesting, like spongy feeling when you dip your finger in. Kind of like that, but let's swatch that. And it's really pretty. Like it's definitely a rose gold duo chrome. Like you see it go from rose to gold. So there's all three of those. So for two and three dollars i mean you can't really beat that and i've worn all of these products on my eyes i haven't had any kind of reaction i'm really intrigued by this brand because i think they're growing i think they're gaining popularity and i've had really good experiences so let's do the swatches of the palette and then jump into the tutorial first we have cosmic latte champagne deep peach all three of these are mattes and they are super buttery. Then we have Misty Rose. I'm just gonna try and build it up a little bit more because I didn't really feel like it was picking up on camera. Then we have Pale Chestnut, Turkish Rose, Cordovan, Desert Sand, Witchcraft, Danger, Cleopatra, so pretty, Trevi Fountain. This one definitely required a little bit of building up. Applied on the eyes with Fix Plus and a synthetic brush, it was excellent. So there you have those, and I am out of room, so let's switch arms. I'm not really sure how you pronounce this one. I'm gonna guess Chamois, Pure Copper, Khaki, Rosy Brown, Hypnotism, Stunning, and Myrtle. And there you have it. I don't feel like the camera is doing these any justice. You just have to trust that they're stunning. All right, so there are the swatches. I do wanna say thank you guys really quickly for entering my giveaway, being here, supporting me. I am really excited by how well this giveaway is going. I'm just so excited that I even have this thousand subscriber giveaway going on. If you haven't checked it out, it is closing. I think we have one more week left by the time this goes up, probably a few more days. Go ahead and check that out. I'll put it right here in the eyes, and now I will zoom you in and get this tutorial started. Alrighty then. I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Shadow Primer in the Eden version and I just picked this up. I just picked up quite a bit between Ulta and Sephora with all of the emails they've been sending out with coupons and man I think they're trying to make me go broke but I've picked up some really good stuff and I'm kind of thinking of doing a video of like best of 2018 or what I regret purchasing most of 2018, maybe even like combining that type of scenario. Really hoping my lighting is better in this video than my last one because this whole lighting situation, video setting situation is such like, there's such a learning curve when you're doing YouTube. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing. So to start, I'm gonna dip into deep peach and pale chestnut, just like doo doo and doo doo. And then I'm just going to get right into the transition area 
And this does not need to be like super precise at all because we are gonna go in with that glitter top coat. So just doing circular motions. Just kind of like, should I zoom you in a little bit more? Let me zoom you in a little bit more. Now we're gonna switch to the Luxie 131 Mini Angled Brush. And then I'm going to go into Rosy Brown and this shade right here, which is called Desert Sand. These all layer really nicely, so that's good. And I'm gonna tap into Myrtle, combined again with Desert Sand. And I'm just going to concentrate right on this outer edge here. And then it's kind of like on an angle. If you could see that, to bring it in just a little further that way and then drag it across. Same thing on this side. And then I'm going to dive into this deep peach shade and I'm just going to just blend everything out and make it look nice and soft. Now we're gonna go back to that big fluffy brush from the beginning and just, I'm not gonna put any color on it. I'm just gonna give everything just another little blender do, blender doodle. Just circles. And this is how you get that nice gradient effect. You wanna see that lighter color above the darker. So now you can do this one of two ways. You can use your finger. I preferred using a painter brush, like a synthetic brush, this one right here. And this is the Alomar painter brush. That's part of the three piece set. And I'll link this down below, but also got this in BoxyCharm. But now I am going to dip into Cleopatra. I'm gonna spray my brush with Fix Plus. And I'm just gonna kind of like wear the edge of the brownish shade is. Oh, is that not stunning? Oh, I hope that comes off on camera nicely or picks up nicely. And then it's like I'm sort of cutting the crease here, right there, and then dragging it down, but leaving this most outer part matte. I'll do the same thing over here. Now either you can get a clean painter brush, you can wipe this on your pants, like I do half the time, or a paper towel. And we are going to dip into Trevi Fountain, also spraying the brush. And this is just going to be the base for that really pretty blue that you're gonna see in the inner corners. Look how pretty that is, oh, oh. When you do a look like this, you wanna make sure that you take it at least high enough so that you can see it when you're looking straight on at people. So it might feel like you're taking it a little bit high, but it looks much better. If you do it too low, then you're not really gonna see it. So now, as you can see, like the more you pick up on your brush, like it layers really nicely. So you can make it bright and bold. You can make it more of a wash however you want to do it. And then when most of the product is off of the brush, I just kind of like where the two shades meet, I just kind of blend that out. And as I'm looking at this, at least the way that it's picking up on camera, I need to darken up this outer section real fast. So I'm gonna switch my brush. I'm gonna go back into that angled brush real fast and go back into Myrtle, which is that blackest shade of all of them, and I'm not going to mix it with desert sand. I'm just going to go straight on. Yeah, better. I like this black because it's not like your 
dark, dark black, but it's like intentionally that way. Like sometimes I feel like in palettes, you get a black that it looks super duper black in the pan, but when you look at this even in the pan, like it's soft, it's meant to be soft. So I'm really liking how there's nice cool toned mattes in here. It's just nice for my collection. So now we're gonna go in with that shadow topper. After we do that, I'm gonna go back in and just define the crease a little bit more. <sighs> you guys, this is just, mm. So when I first did this, I applied it to the back of my hand and applied it with a brush because I, was, I wasn't sure, I didn't feel very comfortable with it. But at this time, I've got a pretty good idea of how it's going to apply. So I'm just gonna do it straight onto my lid and I'm doing it in the inner corner, basically over top of that blue that I already did. Can you guys even deal with this? It's so pretty. Do this part. Oh my gosh, oh my God. And I am taking it like right into this inner corner here. And then I'm looking straight on into my mirror because I wanna make sure that this is even, like that cut crease. The reason I created this look even was for my kids' Hanukkah party at school. We celebrate Hanukkah and a lot of people dressed up and had Hanukkah clothes. I did not, so I was like, I'm gonna dress my face. Now I'm just kinda making sure everything is blended and there's no harsh edges. But I found the best way to do that, like with this formula, this topper, is you have to kind of pat it Otherwise, it can get tricky. So you don't wanna rub it, you wanna pat it. Now I'm going to go into my Lexi Mini Flat Angled Brush, and it's such a nice precision brush. Also part of that Luxie set from BoxyCharm. And I'm going to go ahead and dip into Myrtle, and I will be combining that with Desert Sand just to keep it a little bit lighter. And I'm using the angled side to really get in there precisely and just deepen up the crease. And I didn't take it all the way like where the blue is, kind of like right there is where it meets and I stop. Same thing on this side. And I do kind of have this little like angular shape going on. I am going to kind of diffuse it. It's like kind of a cat eye, kind of, sorta. And then just blend it. All right, I feel like it looks patchy in my viewfinder, but in person it's not. We're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna keep going and pray that it looks better when I'm editing it than it does right now in the viewfinder. All right, now I'm going to continue with Myrtle and Desert Sand and that mini flat angled brush that we just did, and we're gonna go right close to the lash line with it and kind of let the angle do the work for me. And just kind of take it about halfway. And then you just kind of want it to meet with this part right up here. Then kind of rub away excess and go into that rosy brown shade. And then tap that into desert sand, just like we've been doing with like everything. And do the inner corner. Then we're grabbing that Luxie mini tapered brush and we're gonna go into deep peach and just kind of like blend it all out. Like I'm not going right on top of it, I'm kind of going under and just really smoking it out and looking, making it look nice and diffused. And then just kind of even it out as you see fit. Now for this part, I am taking the diamond liquid glitter and i'm rolling it just onto the back of my hand and i'm taking this awesome super detail brush it's a paint brush i got it from michael's like a little while ago and i think they still have them it's their does it say what it is by crafter's choice there are nine two five oh brush i think if I can find it, I'll link it down below. I love it. And I'm dipping into the liquid eyeshadow and I'm going to wrap it from in my inner corner. Kind of take it to like where my iris starts. 
Guys, sorry, my eyes are like a little bit red. We went to Miami for Eric's Law Firm's holiday party and I'm still recovering. Now I'm gonna use my gel liner by Pretty Vulgar. I got this in BoxyCharm as well. And I'm gonna do that same brush and just go all the way across. And then I always just kind of make the liner a little bit thicker as I move towards my outer eye as I go outward. You know what I'm trying to say, I hope. To tight line, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Maybelline Eye Studio Black is Black Gel Liner. I've just found that this is like very tried and true, plus it's in my makeup case that I have right over here. And I just dipped in with my flat diviner brush from, why can't I think of it, Alomar. Now, this step is really important for somebody like me that has such pale skin. You gotta get all the skin so that you don't have any skin peeking out because that just kind of looks funky. Then we'll do our lower waterline, making sure to connect it from the outer corner to the inner corner. Now, over top of all of that liner, I am gonna go into Myrtle. I just wanna soften it up. And then on the outer part, I don't think I mentioned on the other eye, I just kind of actually drag it a little bit below the liner, right up under the lash, like halfway, because I want it to be darkest on the outer part of the eye. And then I'm gonna blend that out. And this is that mini blender from Luxie. And right now I'm just kind of blending everything, making sure there's no harsh edges. I do have the Ofra Feelin' Myself Highlighter Trio and Pillow Talk is such a pretty highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that into my inner corner real fast and under the brow. And I'm gonna put on some mascara and lashes and come right back. And just like that, our lashes are on. Now I'm just gonna quickly finish up the look. The eyes are done. I already have on my base, obviously, and I bronzed and I contoured. I used the Kevin Aquan Contour Book Volume 3. I am obsessed with that. I reviewed that, I think, like a month or so back. Highly recommend that if you haven't tried that. But now I'm gonna go into the shade Gulu by NARS and just brush that onto my cheeks. I feel like there's a color in my Pro Fusion 6 pan blush palette that's really similar and that was $4.99 as opposed to I think these blushes are around 30-ish. I'm gonna go into Pillow Talk. Love this. I used this I think in my last tutorial. I don't know. Definitely had it on at some point recently. Pinch and go down the nose here. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do, you guys? I finally gave in and got a mini ambient lighting powder by Hourglass, and this is Luminous Light. I have various other, like, dupes, I would call them, I guess by um, Makeup Revolution, because these are pretty expensive, but I notice a big difference. So I typically would have done this before my blush and highlight, but I'm just gonna kind of go in my under eye area. And this is like a tapered blush brush. This is by Morphe. It is their E3. This is something I think that's subtle, especially on camera, but it makes such a big difference in person. Like. It reflects light so nicely, and I just, it brightens up that under eye, but it doesn't make it look white under there. Like, you're probably not gonna be able to see that, but it's like, it's flawless. And this is by City Lips. This is their matte lip. Yeah, their matte lip cream, and this is in the shade Blush Pink. Yeah, oh, I love it. This is like my new favorite, like go-to light nude because I have a hard time with those. My skin, I'm just so pale. And a lot of times nudes, light nudes wash me out. This has just enough color. It's so pretty. And with a bold eye like this, I don't want the focus really anywhere but my eyes, which is why I did that. And I think they had like a buy one, get one or 
something like that. They have some deal going on. All right guys, so that's where the video stopped recording. So kind of a rough intro, rough outro. Um, and I look amazing right now. I just, I keep looking at myself. I'm like, I can't believe I'm gonna put myself on the internet looking like this, but guys, we all get sick. This is just, this this is real life. The tutorial and the review was definitely still worth putting up and I think that you guys will enjoy it. I hope you guys will enjoy it. If you have any questions or something wasn't clear, you can always just leave me a comment down below. If you try it out, find me on Instagram, tag me. I would love to see what you guys come up with. And that does it for this video. So before you go, if you did like the video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing before you go. Thank you to all of my new subscribers and my loyal subscribers that have been with me from the beginning. It's just exciting to watch this community grow. So I'm pretty sure I'm not making any sense right now. I don't even know what I'm saying. So I'm just gonna say thank you and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. What, what am I doing? Okay, <sighs> done.